Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome back to the Feed the Beast Challenge with Nearby Gamer. Dude, seriously. Alright guys, thanks to some bone meal, I'm gonna go ahead and harvest up these trees. Um, should be cool here in a minute. Just gonna do the same thing I usually do with red power rubber trees, and that's, you know, clip off their leaves. <laughs> um, so give me a few minutes here to take care of all these leaves, and then I'm gonna craft up the stuff I need to start harvesting this. Oh, gotta go sleep. All right, now that I've taken care of most of the saplings there, I can go ahead and craft up, dun dun dun, the tree tap, as you might have expected. Uh, definitely necessary to collect rubber. This is definitely a sticky situation. Now, how'd I do on this sapling, or on this tree here? Did I get a decent amount of rubber? Uh, just one, looks like, rubber block. It's not bad, not ideal, but not bad. That's okay. We'll be getting a few more rubber trees growing here in just a few. So let's take care of all these blocks that I made a mess with. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and proceed. So I'll be back soon. All right, guys. So now that I've got my rubber trees growing here, looking sharp, uh, I'm going to let the, uh, you know, saplings continue to do their thing. But I want to teach my transmutation table here about sticky resin. That's right. We can transmute this stuff. And it's not terribly expensive, believe it or not. Um, so I'm going to let that stuff cook up. Uh, thanks to some charcoal I've got, and maybe go get myself a bit of uh, material EMC stuff out of my chest here. How are we doing? Oh, dude. Man, I am just a mess of EMC at the moment. I've got so much, I can't even tell you. But I'm happy about that. Oh, dude, really? I hate that. I forgot walking on the uh, crops from Industrial Craft is not good. So let's collect all this stuff and maybe have a stack of gunpowder for now. Maybe some bones. Just so much stuff in there to collect, you know. <laughs> all right, off to transmute. So what I'm going to do is probably just uh, burn up all this stuff, the rotten flesh, as well as the bone. Get myself, uh, ooh, I could get an alchemical chest if I want. Okay, that's cool. Oh, wait, I have some more to do. Let's cook this stuff up. Yep, another diamond. Woot. Um, cool, cool, cool. Yep, good. And some wood. Why not? I'm going to deposit all this stuff in my chest here, and then I'm going to start looking into what I have to build here rather soon. But for now, I wanted to get some gunpowder and convert it into coal. Or charcoal. It doesn't really matter. Let's see. Coal. What's the difference? I think charcoal is better, right? Oh, yeah. Um, let's just get a piece of coal out of here, and the rest I'll convert back down to gunpowder and redstone. So, uh, coal, 128, charcoal, 32. Yep, definitely better to use charcoal. So let's do that. I'll just get redstone out of there. Perfect. I'll leave some gunpowder in here. Why not? It's useful. And then I can start doing this. Ha ha ha. I've got some rubber. Woot. You know what we have to craft now, right? I'm thinking it's time for the extractor. There we go. So I'm going to need a machine block and an electronic circuit. So I'm going to need nine pieces of refined iron here. So let's get one of those going. And I'm going to need some energy generating machines. So why don't I get ready to do my industrial craft stuff and come back. And real quick, guys, I chopped down all my trees. And I want to make sure my transmutation table knows all about rubber wood. And it does, so that's good. I'm going to store that in my useful stuff chest because I'll extract the rubber out of it in a bit. Um, and meanwhile, I'll just clean up my inventory a bit. I've got my rubber on me. I've got some iron. That's cool. Um, I'm going to need a bit more. So let's go ahead and grab out of here. Uh, I got one piece of refined iron, so I'm going to need a bit more. Looks like. So two more, and I want to cook them up. And I'm pretty sure refined iron won't fit inside that uh, transmutation table. So let's cook this eight pieces up over here. And I'm getting a few more pieces of rubber I got out of those rubber trees before I chopped them down. So like I said, I'll be back in a few minutes once I have some energy generation possibilities. All right, guys, so I got some things to build, obviously, here. Um, so I just muted nearby. I was chatting up with him for a few minutes. Uh, I'm going to need few pieces of tin. So let's convert this iron into tin here. How are we doing otherwise? I've got some iron I can steal out of here. That's cool. And I'll get all the excess out of here out of wood and torches. Sure. And smooth stone. Cool. So what I'm doing is I'm going to craft up using the tin plus one copper wire. My battery. And then um, 
Now, before anybody tells me that I could do this with a, uh, you know, cheaper recipe, there is not a cheaper recipe anymore. The uh, old recipe where it was a iron furnace and one piece of refined iron has become an iron furnace and three pieces of refined iron for a total of eight iron. So it's really not much cheaper to craft a generator uh, than the new way versus the old. So that's cool there. Now I'm going to need a bit more copper. So let's see. How am I over here? Let's steal some EMC out of, oh, I don't know, piece of gold. Sure, why not? I know, I've got a bunch of EMC over there. I just don't feel like running over. Um, what was I going for? Copper, right. A uh, piece of copper. A couple of them, actually. Need some more wiring. Um, and I'll get the rest as iron. Perfect. So, three more pieces of wiring here. That ought to be good. And two more pieces of redstone. Now, I'm going with the standard generator. You might be saying, why is that, direwolf? Um, basically because the amount of energy I get for charcoal and coal is the same. So I'm going to be using charcoal in my generator here. Um, and then I just need four of these guys. Sweet. I think it was like this, right? There we go. Extractor. Nice. Let's go find a nice spot to build this little thing. So I just asked Slowpoke and Tog if they know what I'm building. Oh, that was close. Let's see. A little bit of lag while I'm recording all of a sudden. I might want to log off for a minute and clean that up, but uh, I think we're in good shape here. Anybody want to guess what I'm building? I'll give you a hint, I was just counting. <laughs> Slowpoke got it right away. <laughs> yep, 9x9. Nine nine. What's up, Direwolf fans? You should recognize this house. I'll be back when it's done. Look at Slowpoke trolling me. <laughs> What, am I out of cobble already? Darn. Let's get our doorway ready. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Painful. I really hope you guys didn't think you'd get away from the 9x9 rooms in one of Direwolf's videos. I really hope you didn't expect that to happen. Especially in a map where, like, you know, I want to fall back on my roots and know what I'm doing. A zombie... I think he's got his mob trap pretty close to done over there, don't you guys? Probably. Which is probably bad news for me, which means my mob trap efficiency is about to drop a little bit, but that's okay. I don't mind. I got a good head start of EMC from that stuff, and uh, I'm already putting it to good use. Now, uh, there's a couple things I know I need to build. Um, there's no way to get glowstone, and I don't know if nearby knows this, so maybe I don't want to release the secret just yet, but uh, I'm going to need an industrial craft machine to get glowstone. Actually, I think he did say he knew that, didn't he? He might have said it earlier on. So, I don't know, we'll see. Well, guys, what do you think? Look familiar? Feels just like home. Beautiful. So let's do the thing that we usually do here. Um, now, I don't think I can drill down, can I? Nope, that's not a good place to drill. So I won't be running my wiring under the floor. I'm going to be a little bit more obvious about where my wiring is. Um, if I really wanted to, I'm sure I could come up with a way to get that wiring under the floor there, but I'm not going to worry too much about it. So let's get ready to do that. And don't worry, guys, as soon as I can, I'll upgrade to a more efficient form of energy like solar or something. But for now, I've got a stack of charcoal here, got my generator, my extractor, and let's take care of this little beast. So I'm going to place this guy here for now. Uh, some copper cabling along here. And I'll place my extractor. And remember, this cabling isn't necessarily required, but that's okay. Extractor's ready to go. Generator, we can start generating power. Sweet. And I'm going to go get myself some more resin. Looks like it's getting dark out. And I did light up the house, so I'm in good shape there. Hopefully no mobs spawning. That would not be fun. I uh, wanted more resin, right? So let's go see how my mob trap is doing. Probably a ton of items in here. Oh yeah. 
let's take care of the spider situation that I'm sure we're gonna have too. Yep, see, lots of spiders in there. That's right, I'll take care of it off camera. Yeah. You're right over there nearby, I see a couple deaths going on. I'm kind of okay, except for I might need to sleep again. Oh my, really? Yeah, unfortunately. I didn't get the full ceiling on. I might need to throw some torches down. Yeah, not helping out very much. Oh yeah. I hear you. Did you get anyone spawning while you were inside, or did you? were you the smart one that put torches down? Oh, I put, uh... Well, I didn't cover up the roof until I was ready. Oh, I'm not. I'm ready right at the point, but I got so many blocks that it's like I got mobs spawning all over the place. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. I see. Cool. Well, I'm gonna go do something off camera because I don't know if you know this trick, but I'm about to uh, show it to my fans, so uh, I will catch you up later. Well, sleep real quick for me. Okay, I guess. You're so. by the bed. <laughs> yeah. I'm right you. there. I guess I can manage. Muting. All right, guys, you ready for this trick? I don't know if nearby knows this one or not, so uh, I'm going to kind of do it when he's not looking. Yeah, look, he's going over there. Good. Go away nearby. He can't hear me. <laughs> so I just collected melons from that little melon farm I got. And before I take care of this, of course, I should probably teach my transmutation table about melons. Perfect. And while I'm here, I can probably burn up some of this bone. And uh, what else did I collect? A lot of gunpowder. A lot of gunpowder. Serious business gunpowder. Let's burn up this stuff that I don't need, really. Uh, that's good enough for me. Uh, let's go take care of uh, this stuff. I don't even know if I have enough sand. Dude, I'm going to run out of sand again, aren't I? No. Close, though. 45 TNT. That's going to be a lot of EMC. Yeah, it is. Look at that. Booyah. Um, and I didn't even empty out my chest, guys. Like, not even a little bit, didn't even empty out my chest. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, doing pretty good here. Pretty soon I'm going to have to get an antimatter relay going, and, uh, oh yeah, look, see, I've got enough diamonds for a collector. Yeah, definitely going to be on part of the plan soon. So where was I? Oh yeah, you ready for this? All right, here's a trick. For those of you watching, Direwolf20, placing a melon. You ready? Put down melon. Philosopher's Stone, is he looking? All right, he's not looking. Boom! What's up, pumpkin? <laughs> Take that nearby. And you know what we have to do with our pumpkin, right? 144 EMC. Not bad at all. And uh, I believe if I place my pumpkin in my table here, I get some pumpkin seeds, which will help out. And meanwhile, I'll just store these melons, I don't know, over here for now. They can do good for food and whatever else, but uh, what I want to do now is collect up and do this. If I get another crop out of here. And I need this guy as well. Not so bad. There we go. Now we've got some pumpkins growing. And as soon as everything's fully grown, I'm going to go ahead and start crossbreeding and hopefully get some cool stuff. But, uh, you know, even with the crossbreeding going on, I'm good. So what am I going to do next, guys? I'm going to get myself a steady supply of sticky resin by burning up some iron, putting sticky resin in the target block there. And look at that. Serious amounts of EMC just got turned into sticky resin. I'm going to keep one so I have one for a target block, but the rest is going to go get extracted with my extractor. Dun, 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 dun. And while that extraction stuff is going on, which takes a while because I don't have any upgrades or advanced machines or anything, that's okay. I'm going to go work on the next machine I'm going to need, which is going to be the macerator. All right, guys, making progress here. Just got some rubber out, converted some uh, uh, stuff to charcoal and redstone here. So doing my best to get the uh, copper cables that I need. Whoops, don't want to lose these things. Uh... There we go, got my nine refined iron, so I'm definitely going to need another one of these. And remember, early on I figured out how to transmute sandstone into gravel, uh, which was important for getting flint. And now I've got it in my transmutation table, so I have no problem doing this. Dun 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 macerator okay now i want to get some glowstone how am i going to do that glowstone dust you can get out of four pieces of gold dust 
and five pieces of redstone. So, how about I take some gold, one, two, three, four, along with my macerator, and get ready with my copper cabling, and head down into my room over here. Huzzah! Right there with the macerator. Sweet. And some gold ingots. And I'll be back when they're done. Alright guys, uh, so I've got some glowstone dust here, my fourth piece getting made. Sweet. Open up my crafting table. And remember, I showed you guys, this is an industrial craft recipe, glowstone dust. Nice! Um, now that I've got glowstone dust, I can transmute and get glowstone, which is an important part of what I want to build next. So let's get that guy in there. Lots of EMC, of course, but oh well, what you gonna do? Let's go get some of the gunpowder that we've got out of this thing. This mob trap turned out to be so worthwhile. Um, very, very pleased with it. Yep, thing's still dying. Nice. Looks like uh, nearby has got a pretty similar trap going on over there, but it's larger for some reason. He has a plan. I don't know what it is, but he has a plan. Don't you, nearby? I was just telling my viewers that you have a plan. I said I don't know what it is, but I know you've got one. Oh, yeah, I got plenty of plans. Plenty of plans. Not working very huh? well, but... Oh, <laughs> oh well. That's cool. My viewers can see what I'm doing right now. It should be obvious to them. I'm not going to talk it out, but, uh, yep, that's what I did. So let's do that. Oh, jeez, come on. No luck over there, man? Uh, I'm having a huge problem with uh, mob spawning. <laughs> now, too big of a problem, actually. Yeah. Yeah, because I had... Uh, hmm, it, now I got water falling everywhere. Nice. Nice. And they're coming down the ladder. Ow. Skeleton, don't hurt me. Okay. Dude, you would not be pleased if you saw what I was making right now. I'm not pleased right now at all, actually. <laughs> You're not going to be pleased at all at all. You already got the next thing? No. There's an Enderman on my area, though. That's oh. kind of cool. And I just built something very expensive, so I'm going to put it in a chest before I attack and kill him. Oh, gosh. This is not working out very well at all, buddy. Uh-oh. Not at all. I can't get up there to fix it, because every time I get up there, mobs are killing me. Ooh. Yeah. So, were you asking me a minute ago what this uh, table is over here, by the way? Yeah, what is it? I've never built it before. Project tables from uh, Red Power 2. Okay, what's it do exactly? Think automatic crafting table, but instead of it automatically crafting things from BuildCraft, it um, has its own little inventory. And what you do is you like map out in the top slot the recipe that you want to use, and then you put all the ingredients in the inventory section, and you can constantly pull out the same item over and over again. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. So why is this Enderman just, like, chilling over here? I do not like it at all. I hope he comes to get you. I hope he dies, and, like, right now. See you later, Enderman. Where'd you go? Oh, t t teleporters, cheating, Enderman, hate you. Me and Enderman <laughs> have a history, man. We are not I, friends. I bet. No, you have no idea. <laughs> Me and Enderman, they, dude, seriously, they nuked my house in my last season. Oh, they just kept stealing your stuff, or are they still still a wire or something? No, dude, they nuked it. They like they they put nukes all over my base and like literally blew me up. Hmm. It was not cool. Me and them, we had some words. Yum. I think the Enderman just ran away because he's a wimp like that. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I notice sometimes they just despawn and don't even come back. For you. <laughs> sometimes, because they're afraid. Oh, yeah. They're afraid of you. They should be. All right, man. I'll catch you later. All right, so you guys saw what I just made over here, right? That's right. I made my first energy collector. Woot! Uh, that's going to be a huge boon to my resources. So let's see, where do I want to put this guy? Do I want to put him in my little house? I think that might be a good spot. 
Yeah, maybe like right over here where it's nice and safe. That looks cool. Look, it's collecting energy already. Let's put, now remember I needed eight, so let's get some charcoal in there. I think charcoal will work to get upgraded, right? Let's put like a bunch actually. Yeah, it works. Good enough for me. We'll get some uh, awesomeness in a minute here. Now this guy's gonna upgrade pretty quickly, so I want to go ahead and uh, take advantage of that. So I'll be back in a few once I've got some items that it creates for me automatically. So I upgraded that one piece of redstone or charcoal all the way up to gunpowder, and I'm waiting for it to progress again. Almost there. What do we get? Glowstone? I already know that one. Alright guys, just got alchemical coal. I don't know if I really need it or not, but I'm going to go ahead and teach it to my transmutation table just for fun. So my collector will continue to gain all that cool stuff. Um, put my alchemical coal in. And look at that, worth 512 EMC. Nice. Now the reason I'm going for a Klein Star, in case you guys haven't figured it out, um, basically is um, I want to be able to more easily transmute from energy to matter. And a Klein Star Ein is the best way to do that. So I'll be back once this guy's done. Just got some blaze powder. Might as well go teach that to my transmutation table too. And guys, there's something else I'm doing here real quick. I'm just making another philosopher's uh, or a transmutation table. The reason for that is I'm just a little bit nervous about having only one and having no easy access to obsidian without it. So uh, if I make another one, uh, that'll be a little bit safer just in case I have any creeper or uh, enderman trouble. And I'll store it right here. Looks like my blaze powder is almost done upgrading. What do we get next after blaze powder? I don't know. I forget. We'll see. Glowstone. I already know that one. And I'm also building myself some copper chests. I'm going to build at least one here uh, so that it can sit next to this guy. Oh boy. Alright guys, look what I just got. Mobius. Nice. First piece. Alright guys, okay, next well, up I want to replace that fermenter that I lost uh, from the creeper explosion, which is going to require some bronze. I just got some, uh, as well as some diamond by clearing out my mob drop chest there. So uh, let's get ourselves some bronze. I'm going to get a good amount here because I'm going to need a bunch in the future going forward, so I might as well make a good amount now. Uh, so that looks cool. Very nice. Sturdy machine. Woot. And then I'm going to need some bronze gears. And there we go, we've got our fermenter. Woot! Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and place this guy back over here and uh, get him running again. Alright guys, as you can see, I just collected some uh, pumpkins and melons out of my little farm over there. Uh, I need to get my fermenter going, like I said, but I wanted to collect those. I happened to notice that they were up and running. So let's get, like, I don't know, a few more of these sticks ready because I'm gonna want to get a good amount of crops for crossbreeding. So we're in good shape already. Uh, with this thing, but boy, am I lagging a bit. We'll start crossbreeding some stuff and I'll be back. And guys, I'm going to go ahead and place my saplings here and my manure here, and then all I need is some energy. Booyah. And we should hopefully, hooray, green flames is good, means we're going to start getting some of this good stuff. Um, now what I'm thinking about doing is running some piping here, but I don't have any cactus yet, so it's still all manual. All right, everybody, I was just taking a break from recording, but I'm putting on the recording for just a minute to let you guys watch me craft this nifty little device. Oh yeah. What's up? Important device to have. I'm happy to have it now, uh, and that means I can easily do the stuff that I was talking about off camera. Like that. Now I can do that stuff. Sweet. So guys, what I should be able to do is something like this. I no longer need this thing. That's unnecessary now. I should be able to just do this. Put this guy in here. Put this stuff like this. Ha ha ha. Look at that, baby. Yeah, you should be able to just stand there. That's I should it's... be able to pretty much just stand here. You got it. <laughs> so it's looking like. Yep. Oh yeah, that's what I need. And some of this. And probably another one of these for that. This is excellent commentary by Direwolf20. Not excellent. talking about at all what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible commentary. But I do want my uh, viewers to see what I'm making real quick. 
So how you doing nearby? Got my first diamond, sadly enough. <laughs> oh yeah? <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm getting there. That's cool. You're making progress, it's alright. So what'd you base your uh, main stuff off for your diamond? The uh, the mop grinder or the mushrooms? A little of both. A little of both. And punching trees from last uh, last time we played. A lot of trees, apparently. Yes, a lot of trees. Ooh, I need more of that stuff, don't I? Oh yeah, that's all right. No, 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 that's all I need is just that many of those. Yeah, I noticed both of you guys uh I think you harvested a lot of trees while you're trying to figure out how to get iron. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. I really need an energy collector to turn all this gunpowder into something useful. Oh, yeah. No, you yeah. don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. That's all I'm getting is like gunpowder. No, you don't. <laughs> Wait, okay. hold up. There's the trick. There's a trick. There's a trick. Hmm. Figure it out yet? <laughs> No, I'm thinking about it. I'm looking up the... It's probably not even on the wiki, is it? <laughs> it's actually pretty subtle. Subtle. Well, I know, like, you can't just burn it down there. Okay. And get it that way, supposedly, because it locks it to, uh... Locks it to a uh, fuel source. Right. Right. So... Yeah. Keep it going. You're getting there. You could turn the... That into coal and to make torches? No. That would probably not be the most efficient way. Hmm. Well, it's equivalent EMC, so I mean, you, you know, that would work. Be very slow. Yeah, it'd be really slow. Tog, you guys watching me? Uh, you specifically? No. See what you're up to. You're just standing there with your stone sword, you know. It's not like. We... Yeah. <laughs> it's not like they can see what you're doing. All right, hang on one sec. I'll give you something exciting to see. I suspect I know what you're going towards, but. TNT. There you go. You figured it out. I don't out. know why I didn't even think of that. TNT. Look. You see that, no, dog? I was, I was turning yeah, it all red stuff. That was it. stupid. I see it. Because sand is only worth one EMC. Oh, nearby. Look over here. Did you get the next thing already? Yeah, look at you. You're already moving up. Yeah. Blocks. Oh, there's plenty of blocks left to go. And just for my viewers, you can now see the rewards that I got as a result of um, getting that block that I just got there. So that's kind of cool to have. Ooh. Yes, that, that reward, right? Yep, those rewards. The rewards <laughs> I just got that my viewers can see. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and you cannot. <laughs> uh, some of your what I have, mob grinder-wise. Right. And, well, I got sniped by one of those skeletons. Really? Yeah, with four diamonds and the sturdy machine. Yep. Oh, dude, you had four diamonds on you? Yeah, that I had four diamonds on me. I should have put it in my chest. Oh, I'm so far behind again. You should have, yeah. <laughs> well, at least I kept my Philosopher's Stone in my chest, so that's that's good. That yeah. Good. Don't have dude, to... now that you have that mob trap working, though, honestly, four diamonds, you'll get there pretty quick. Yeah. Well, with the gunpowder, yeah, I will. All right, guys, just muted Nearby Gamer. Let me catch up on what I've done so far. I've really just been waiting for some passive EMC coming in from uh, my mob grinder here. We've got a bunch of guys dying up there, plenty of items showing up in my chest. And uh, 
um, nearby got his mob grinder running pretty well. So uh, now it's time to kick it up a notch and continue moving along. So I think my next steps here should be to get some forestry stuff going. Forestry is going to provide me with a good amount of EMC income. At least that's the plan. Now, um, unfortunately, I still do not have um, the good, good, good stuff that is uh, cactus. So I have no way of creating waterproof transport pipes, which is okay, I'll live. Um, you know, I won't be thrilled about it, but I'll live. But what I want to get going now is right now I want to build two, count them, two farms from forestry. Um, what I've done is I've looked through the different things that forestry can auto harvest. And I think one of the best resources for me at this point will be uh, pumpkins. Pumpkins seem like they'll be a valuable resource for EMC generation. And it looks like it's getting dark here already, so I better light up this platform that I'm on. Yeah, not a bad idea at all. So yeah, that's what I'm thinking, guys. Pumpkins. Um, so what I want to do is actually build two farms from forestry. I'm going to build a peat farm to get the uh, peat that I need to power some of the uh, peat-fired engines from forestry. And then uh, I'll get, uh, whatchamacallit, the... Um, other income will be the pumpkin farms, and they'll run on peat-fired engines as well. And because peat doesn't have EMC, it's not really a waste to go ahead and use it. So uh, what I think I'll do here is just have this awesome little bridge leading out, and then, um, you know, from here, just build out a little platform and start building. So I'll be back once I've got the, uh, you know, layout of what I want. Alright guys, this feels like a pretty good wrapping up point for uh, this episode of the Feed the Beast Challenge with Nearby Gamer. Stay tuned for the next one.